Thanks a lot. And here at the SBC Center, maybe more of the same because the road team, the Phoenix Suns, are off to a great start, led by Amari Stoudemire. Let's check out our Bud Light starting lineup for this game one. Out there on the court, Hardaway and Marbury in the backcourt for Phoenix. Scott Williams in the middle, Sean Marion and Amari Stoudemire at the forwards. San Antonio with Tony Parker, Steven Jackson, Malik Rose already in the game for David Robinson, who has two fouls. They've got Tim Duncan. The defensive backboard, as we've seen early, the relentlessness of Amari Stoudemire. San Antonio to steal, and he throws to the hook for the jam, and that gets... Having guys making plays who are not accustomed to doing that, you got to expect Stefan to step up offensively with this second unit. Steven Jackson lines up a three, and San Antonio takes the lead. Pitch out to Bowen. Steven Jackson hounded by Joe Johnson. Now it's done. Ah! Oh, that is just an amazing shot. And Jackson has been sensational in his playoff debut. I tell you what, Popovich talked about it before the game. Hey, Steven Jackson, I don't worry about. He's got the ability to beat you off the dribble. He gets that early dunk, and then he's going to have the ability to knock down a three. His confidence high. He's also given his team confidence because now they're getting that third option. Three-point lead for San Antonio. Steven Jackson under the rose. He's got another layup in the zone. Parker, Ginobili, a swing to Jackson for three. Boy, Steven Jackson in his first playoff game ever. He's been outstanding. Even your first playoff experience, you look very confident out there. Why were you so effective in the first half? Well, uh, I'm just obviously that confident because my teammates have a lot of confidence in me. And Pop told me to be aggressive, and that's the only way I know how to play. You guys did a much better job with Stefan in this first playoff series than you were able to do in the regular season. What was the difference? Why were you so effective with him? Well, I, I think we just let him do what he wanted to do. I think we're going to take him out of uh, doing some of the things he liked doing, playing better defense. If we play better defense, this should be our game. How does the absence of Kevin Willis affect this team in the second half? It's big because Kev, our, our, our aggressive, but we got to play without him. We got to handle this job without him tonight, but he'll be back. There was some question about the young guys, but they stepped up in the first half for San Antonio. The third, the Spurs have it with a seven-point lead. Ginobili goes into Duncan. Out to Jackson. He gets a look at the three, and all he needs is a look. Steven Jackson with his third three-pointer of the game. Battle of the loose ball. He got a severe mismatch working here because then they ended up with Stoudemire playing out front on the zone. Now Jackson off the drive and gets the runner to drop. Ari Stoudemire is playing as a rookie in the Western Conference, the likes of Nowitzki and Malone and Elton Brand. And got to go against in the Western Conference. Well, the power four position in the Western Conference is the Brand. On to Hardaway. And he Hardaway in the lane. Hands to Stoudemire. He wasn't ready. Jackson is steal to a streaky Parker. Uh, and Tony Parker. Had Stephon Marbury to take it over half court and get a timeout. Stefan had turned away, didn't see it. They obviously got a good look. He points for him in the game. He's made all three of his free throws in this one. Make it four for Steven Jackson has been a clutch performer for the Spurs all during the season. And he knocks in the first free throw. And now today, he's on the line shooting some clutch free throws. And he hits it both. He's there. You know, when you look at the Steven Spurs team, Jackson maybe saves the day for San Antonio. Oh, Duncan play. with a layup. Oh, timeouts. He missed. Robinson tips it. Stoudemire. Marbury has it. Here's Marbury on the drive. Hands it three. Oh! Man, can you believe it? They sent the game into overtime. And perhaps a banked-in three has won it. You know what? I think they're looking to see if it was a three. Definitely.